go. This has to be a big fish. Oh my God, it's pulling drag like crazy. What I have here is a Mega Bass Orchestra screw head, eighth of an ounce with a Mega Bass three inch spark chat. This is supposed to be some sort of uh, ultra finesse technique. This blade here spins, so it's gonna create some vibration in the water. Let's see if I can get on a few. The water is really murky today. Maybe six inches of visibility. Focus sheer screw head, first one. two pounder right there chunky oh i got him from the outside of the mouth still a good fish though nice there we go guys first one of the day decent little two pounder right there okay sure screw head with that three inch spark shed cool let's release him Alright, thanks for the fight. So sometimes as I'm reeling this thing in on a steady retrieve, it's taking the bottom and I feel like that's gonna cause a reaction strike too. But the fish I just caught, I basically did a steady retrieve. I don't even think the jig had hit the bottom. So that fish bit it on a straight retrieve. It's been a while since I got one. Holy crap, and the wind's blowing like crazy. There we go. Nice. He choked it. Starting off with a little half pounder. Look at that stomach. He's been eating. Spark shot down his throat. Decided to come back and uh, yeah, that's the first one of today. 
All right, see you, dude. I feel like this thing's like an ultra finesse chatterbait. Either that or a soft plastic version of a spy bait. It's been working pretty well so far. Again, I'm not doing anything too crazy. All I'm doing is I'm just casting this thing and doing a straight retrieve. You know, nothing crazy. I'm not even twitching it or anything. Just very steady. That's all you need to do. It doesn't get better than that. That's a nice sunrise right there. No way. This has to be a big one. It's pulling drag. It's pulling drag. This has to be a big fish. Oh my God, it's pulling drag like crazy. What the hell did I hook? I don't even know if this is a bass. If this is a bass, it's big. Dude, what is this thing? Is this a catfish? That's why. Look, the freaking catfish, dude. Dude, that's a giant catfish. Oh my God. Look at this freaking thing. It's a freaking giant channel cat. Do you have a net? I don't have a net, but you need help. I can help you. Uh, I, th I think I got it. Is he done? <laughs> oh my God. This thing's huge. Interesting. Anything I'll catch something like this from here on that spark shed. Crazy. Freaking channel catfish. This is definitely a personal best for me right here. Freaking channel catfish. All right. See ya. I thought I had a huge bass on. Swim bait. Big white hat. Yeah, that was a big fish. <laughs> I felt like that fish was doing head shakes underneath the water. Thought I had a freaking 10 pound bass, but yeah, that was pretty cool, man. That was a good fight. I enjoyed it actually. All right, time to change the plastic because this thing is already starting to not hold on. All right. All right, new spark shed. Oh, there we go. Small one. Bass number two, another little quarter pounder, half pounder. 
Man, they're freaking, they're hating this thing today. All right, see you, dude. Oh, there we go. Oh, dude, this fish is freaking mad. There we go. Nice little one, one and a half pounder right there. Oh, dude, this guy's also skin hooked. Barely got him, too. Nice fish. All right. See ya. There he goes. Oh, there we go. Right out there. Healthy little one pounder. Perfect hook set right there, right on the top of the mouth right there. Oh damn, this guy has a jacked up lip. Anyway, that's another one. All right, see you, dude. Yeah, I got one there and one more here. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a good one, too. Subtle bite. Nope, don't jump. It's a decent one, actually, right there. Came off the shade line. Oh no! I was probably just under three. I'd give it. I knew that was gonna happen. It was barely hooked. I was too worried about putting my knees in this goo. I did lose that big one right here, but it happens. It's fishing. I'm here fishing on a Saturday with a bunch of people fishing around me. And yeah, I definitely would recommend this.